Hi Aries, welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at um, what is um, going on for you over the next two weeks and what you can do to actually help yourself over the next fortnight. Okay, so um, we're going to use Sacred Light Oracle. Okay, oh, I didn't introduce myself, I'm Juanita. <laughs> okay, so Sacred Light Oracle and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's have a look first with the Sacred Light Tarot and see what is going on. We'll just give those a quick shuffle and now we will have a look. Okay, so... Bear with me, I'm going to try and pronounce this. Lord <clears throat> Malchizedek. Malchizedek. Lord Malchiz Lord Mal. Let's call him call him Lord Mal, shall we? <laughs> okay, so Aries. Um it could be for some of you that there is a decision that needs to be made or has been made. I feel a little bit like Aries, there's this, um, a bit of a battle between what it is that you feel in your heart <clears throat> and your ego coming out. Yeah, I feel as though um, Lord Mao will be able to help you with that if you call on him to help dissolve the ego, okay, because... Um, it's like it's like you've been kind of meditating or contemplating um, a particular direction that you want to go in or a decision that you're trying to make and you, you kind of it's like you kind of get these downloads or you get this information about it and you have this knowingness within you that it's the exactly what needs to happen and then the next thing you know, the ego's coming in going, you can't do that. What about this? What, you know, what would that person say? And, and whatever else the ego does to, because the ego's job is to keep you safe, right? It's trying to stop you from hurting yourself in any shape or form. So when you feel like you're about to embark upon something new and you feel this fear, the ego comes in going, oh, yes, no, no, no. We should not be doing that then. Um, and so I feel as though that is what is happening here for you, okay? Um, so use Lord Mal to help you. It says here, indecision, ego-based actions, yeah. Lifestyle change. So you could... Yeah, you could be tossing up between one foot thing or the other. The other thing about this with that lifestyle change, Aries, is that whatever you are trying to decide, one of those things that you know in your heart is the best thing for you may require a lifestyle change that you may not want to make. And so, but you know in your heart is the best thing for you. So it really is um, getting into a, a higher state, connecting with the presence of who you truly are, your divine higher self, right? And getting the answers from that place rather than listening to what the ego says. Okay, so yeah, having the courage to make these changes regardless, okay? Because this flower here, once upon a time, was a seed between the cracks of the rocks. Now, this flower it, it, it took a lot for it to grow. It didn't have the normal nutrients it would have had. It didn't have, um, you know, everything surrounding it that it would have to help it grow. But look what it did anyway. It grew anyhow. It drew on its inner resources to make it grow. It knew that what would um, be its ultimate destination required it drawing on every single thing it had to make it get to that light, right? And that's what I feel like you need to do and treat it like an adventure, okay? 
because every step along the way, Aries, you're going to learn something new. Okay, so really treating it like an adventure and going on that adventure, giving yourself permission to go on that adventure, right? So um, knowing that you have the courage to do that. Okay, look at me, I'm clapping you on. <laughs> okay, Aries. So what do we have here? Divine creation. Ooh, oh, I love that. Part of me feels like you're not giving yourself permission to spread your wings. Okay. Um, I, I feel like, you know, whatever decision you know is the right thing to, right decision to make. I feel like you need to give yourself permission to actually make that decision and accept that, okay? Um, you could feel a bit guilty about doing that, maybe. So this, you know, this is where you could use Lord Mal to help you release feelings of guilt because guilt is purely the ego coming in, okay? Um... And there could also be some feelings of, so it says here, acceptance, personal commitments, euphoria. There could be some feeling like some old wounds that need to be healed, okay? Um, and it could very well be that you, there's been a certain path that you've committed to and now you want to change direction and you feel a bit guilty for that. With the hands up saying it's kind of like stop and and i feel like that's that ego coming through um and it it may very well be areas that it could pay for you to look at maybe getting some professional help some guidance to help you with this decision making just you know because sometimes it can be in your head so much that it's so hard to see clearly it's like someone comes to you with something that's really easy for you to see what the best thing whoops a daisy what the best thing for them is um but they can't see it because they're in it and maybe that's the case with you but tapping into this master of who you truly are into this um, consciousness, into this awareness, into this heart space, because the master and the source and, and, and your authentic self resides in the heart, not in the head. Okay, and um, this is something that will really help you to allow the seed. It's like you want to plant a seed, though. And even, I want to say that even if the, the conditions are rough, whatever seed you plant right now is going to grow uh, with the right attitude and the right mindset. If you allow the ego in to take over, it's not really going to help it. Yes, see, look at this. You are the creator, Aries. You are the creator, okay? You are the master of creation. You're the master of your own life. You can create your reality yes yeah, so this is this is this is this divine creation this is creating from this divine place within you okay rather than this low density low vibration place okay angelic realms angelic realms okay um This is very interesting. I feel like there's part of you that wants to do things on your own. It, uh, yeah, this is very interesting. It's like coming from uh, it's like coming from this partnership to this kind of single being in a sense and it doesn't necessarily mean a relationship breakup. Um, it might be that you were in a business partnership and you want to branch out on your own now and maybe you feel guilty about that, okay? It could be that you can see yourself succeeding a lot better on your own. Um, part of this I'm getting though, Aries, is that it could be that um, there could be a project that requires a team effort and you don't want to involve anyone else because you want 
to reap the benefits for yourself and you don't want to share that okay um but I want to say that I feel like that that could be ego. It could also be that you're around somebody who is actually trying to do that. And maybe you have ideas as to how you could make it work. And other people won't entertain that because they want to steal the glory. Okay. So, um, yeah, I feel like... Um, there's... I, I, I feel like Aries, it could be time for you to step up and become the leader rather than just being a team player, if you like. Um, or it could be the other way around for some of you that you need to bring people in to help you rather than just being the one to be the leader of the pack type of thing. Uh, but that could be someone else around you who is behaving like that and your e it could be really triggering your ego um, and, and really, really, really ticking you off. That's super interesting. Let's have a look. Team says a team effort, charity, validation and patience. Yeah, see, with that charity, this is about, like, giving from a place of compassion rather than a place of sympathy, um, because compassion is a lot, um, it, it, it's without ego, you know, and whereas sympathy, you can have ego coming in, and the other thing is, with charity, is some people, you see it, right, how people post, do good things for people, film themselves doing it and then post it. It's not really that they're doing it to help that person. They're doing it for that validation and and um, it's um, from the wrong place in a sense. Oh, did this one jump out too? Okay, stress. Carrying everything on your own, Aries. Okay, um, and not letting anyone else help you. It could very well be that you think that because it's your vision or because it's your idea you think no one else will be able to do it quite the way you are able to or that you envisioned okay so but it is a really a need to hand over the reins and and delegate get other people to help you um it could also be that you're taking on too much Okay, and you need to not allow yourself be to, to become overloaded uh, because something will give, okay. Um, playfulness. <sighs> Finding different ways to do things and having fun with it. <sighs> Some of you are taking things far too seriously right now and it's it's really is a need for you to let go of the stress and, and maybe give yourself a bit of time to go and have some fun so you can release that pent up energy uh, because it, it seems to be just one big juggling act and there's actually no um, way to vent okay that energy out and it's just becoming stuck inside of you. All right, cosmic gateway. Yeah, see, look at this. Okay, so what I love about this, Aries, is um, this here. This is about self-realization. Okay, so looking at, at um, what needs to change in your life, okay? Exactly what I was saying before with the stress. Are you overwhelmed? You know, is there too much workload? Do you need to delegate? And also, this is sitting beneath Lord Mel. Okay, so this is really channeling him because if you're feeling overworked and overwhelmed, these are lower energies, okay, of a lower and more of a, 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 a denser kind of vibration. So in order to lighten that, in order to balance things out, okay, in order to colour the other part of the world here, um, of your world, um, it's important to channel Lord Mel to come in and, and dissolve 
these lower energies for you okay because um, otherwise it's going to be that this the gray area will overtake the the pink area which to me is this color of love you know um, so yeah having the maturity to do that because what will happen is then see up here how this is really dark up here this will allow everything to grow and allow everything to grow um, ethically I want to say okay and it's kind of like planting the new seeds like when you're planting this new seed looking at what the end result is that you want it to be okay and it's a bit like this mindset here thinking about what it is you are uh, is running through your mind so are you planting a garden of weeds or are you planting a garden of flowers okay going within and feeling that out and seeing what it is that you want to create and how to create that so it ends up this beautiful garden instead of a bunch of weeds okay experiencing that feeling it really kind of like projecting yourself into the future as much as possible to feel what it will feel like when you have achieved that okay what the end result will be and going into that constantly okay i feel like um it, it's kind of like becoming it in a sense embracing it in all its glory okay um okay so language of lights i just love these cards like seriously um so this here is this is about distinguishing between what frequency you're using like are you using frequencies that are helping to open you up or close your ability to connect with your guides or um in in other realms like like are your frequencies allowing you to connect with lord mal to dissolve these lower frequencies you know these lower energies and frequencies um this is about rediscovery humble wonder and communication yeah what is it you know we everything that we think and feel emits a vibration okay so what are you communicating with the universe are you communicating um growing you know this kind of garden or are you communicating growing this kind of garden up here you know what is it that is actually what is the vibration that you're putting out because you can talk all you like but unless your vibration is putting out something positive you're not necessarily going to get that back okay um and the other thing i just want to say with that playfulness is play around with different things play around with ways of doing that you know um and and have some fun with it treat it like an adventure don't let it be another um weight on your shoulders to have to do oh, i'm doing all this stuff now i have to do this you know just have some fun with it aries okay so let's have a look tell us more about language of life for aries so we have guilt here okay so this could be that guilt about the decision okay and and that indecisiveness not knowing which way to go but see here how the mind is creating all these clouds here but above that is this blooming tree okay and so this is what the mind will do it will create these storm clouds for you so this is where it's so important for you to go in and what will also happen is it will also create um this i want to say aries kind of paranoia in a sense like thinking people are up to no good could very well be that there are people around you who are up to no good and you may need to keep an eye on that but what will help you see clearer is connecting in and emitting this vibration okay because what you want to draw to you is positiveness and um you know people who are ethical rather than people who are going to go behind your back and i wonder if for some of you that's a fear of yours that you're afraid you're going to have people working with you who go behind your back and do the dirty on you and it could very well be that that has happened in the past okay um magical alchemy 
beautiful so Aries you know this is about you tapping into your ability to manifest you know change explore your impulse you know for creating whatever it is you want to create right because that is in you the seed of change is in you wanting to be growing okay and 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 be aware of that inner magician all right um and again play around you know play around with what it is oh that's the wrong deck with what it is you want to do try different things out you know and just just have some fun Aries let go a little so that you can you can really explore this inkling for you to grow something new look at this have faith have faith that you have the ability to do this okay it's kind of like you might be a bit stuck in your comfort zone right now and you're afraid to step out of it and the ego saying yeah yeah no i wouldn't either um but when you do you will amaze yourself as to actually what it is you can create okay and if you're not sure how to go about that it could be about getting a team together or people with different ideas and brainstorming with other people about how that could be achieved. People you trust, okay, and this is where a professional could, you know, like a life coach or someone like that could help you, um, you know, that you won't actually have someone stealing your ideas because I feel like some of you are afraid of that. So postponement, taking the time to go within, taking the time to see, okay, this is the world I want to create here, this is the world I'm actually creating because I'm allowing my ego to take over and take charge. So how is it that I can go within and begin to color in this outside world for myself, okay? Letting go of any past hurts, any past sorrows that are holding you back from doing this because this could very, very well be about old wounds that are holding you back, old fears and... Um, and which is, again, that ego, which is stopping you. Okay, so Archangel Michael. Oh, this is a brilliant card to have at this point. So ask him to help you release lower or toxic energies, okay? Fear, worry, whatever brings you down. Okay, Aries, um, and, and trust your intuition, right? Like, notice the signs, see the synchronicities, take like actually look around to find them and take note listen to your heart and your knowingness okay um all those little things that appear and you're like oh no that was just because of this or that was because of that um know that you are divinely protected as well and and call on so you've got lord mal now and archangel michael to call on to come in to help you Okay, there's some pretty powerful energies there, so that's super exciting. Um, so, so make sure you take the time to do that, uh, and that will help you to clear this clutter in your mind and, and maybe see things a little bit clearer, okay, so that you can make the correct decision and, and be the master of your creation. Yeah, oh, I didn't pick that card up. I wonder if that was before when I saw that there. Anyway, doesn't matter because it fit. Okay, transformation. Yes, getting Archangel Michael and Lord Mal to assist you with this transformation because you do actually have all the tools. Okay, you have the knowledge. Um, you, you have the ideas, um, which is what I mean by the knowledge. There might be things that you need to learn or ways to discover how to actually execute this idea. Okay, uh, but I really do feel that you're going to be able to achieve this sharing, sharing this with others so that they can help you. Yeah, because you're keeping it to yourself because you don't want, there is a fear there and I feel like it's an old fear. You don't want to share what it is you have, but this is all about sharing um, in order to grow it's like growing a garden and not having anyone like growing you know food and stuff like that having no one to share it with and it goes off um, because you've grown so much but you're not actually sharing you know what is harvested <laughs> um, so yeah sorry what's this past life okay wow wow 
Yeah, see, this is about addressing the past, right? Um, to bring in the healing. Um, you know, it could very well be that you have limiting beliefs or maybe irrational emotions or some kind of phobias that you don't even know why you have them. Okay, and this could actually have been brought forth from a past life and it could be, it could be a generational thing. Okay, so there might even be something that you don't even know what's happened in your life, what's causing this fear, um, you know, causing this. You may not even know what is causing that, but you, it's there and it's strong and it's very real. Okay, and so this may very well be a matter of looking into that to see how it needs to be healed. Past life regression, if you are able to get do something like that, um, have a session, a regression session, um, that may very well help you to clear that if that is the case that's going on for you. Okay, but I feel like there's a door that you can walk through but there's just some stuff that needs to be cleared in order for you to proceed forward. Okay, Aries, so let's just see if we have any other information about past life for Aries. Information about past life for Aries. You know, part of this too, Aries, is about really getting grounded in the present as well and not holding on to those past things okay breaking through and allowing yourself to break down those walls that are holding you back so really looking at that seriously and also not carrying the burden of the past okay or other people's um, burdens of which direction they feel you should go in okay um, not letting people guilt trip you um because you have made a commitment to a certain project or a certain business or a certain relationship, whatever, um, you know, it could be that you want to travel and, and discover the world and someone doesn't want that, to do that and they expect you to remain um, where you are to suit them. But that only makes you stale and stagnant, okay? And I think you can feel this itch to move forward right so yeah doing this and knowing it is for your highest good and letting go of that guilt easier said than done i know but it is necessary for you to evolve and grow okay so the last card we have here is light body yeah independence okay so really this is you needing to start relying upon yourself. You know, part of this fear of moving forward and planting your own seed is because you're used to having that back up and you're having, used to having people come and help you and do it for you. You may need to branch out on your own so that you learn to, um, you know, it, it, it's... It's, it's kind of like becoming independent so that you can gain the confidence and um, and you can actually prove to yourself that you can do this, you know. Um, part of this also could be a bit of codependency on other people, okay. Um, and, and you really need to kind of shed this comfort zone that you're in, okay, uh, because you are ready to to break through. You are ready for this breakthrough, Aries. And in order to kind of break these patterns, and even if they're generational patterns, um, you're ready to do that, even if you don't feel it. You've got this crown on your head here, but it's like you're kind of sitting there going, yeah, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll do that, oh, I don't know. Um, you know, because you feel like, you know, what about this other stuff? And that person said that and, and I'm just being selfish and, you know, call on Lord Mel and Archangel Michael to come and help dissolve that for you and give you the strength to move forward. Okay, try not to take the burden of what other people are saying upon you. Okay, and tap into this master creator that you actually are. Okay, so that you can let these seeds grow, Aries. Um, this is really important for you because you actually, it's like 
you have you, you it's like you're ahead of your time kind of thing and 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 this is where the fear is and it's like it's like someone having an invention or something and you don't know quite how to make it happen and you need to bring in a group of people to go how do we make this happen guys like I have this idea but I don't know how to make it happen um and but it's like you're kind of waiting for someone to go, oh, I know someone, I'll do it for you, let me contact them, and da-da-da-da-da, but you need to actually do that for you and start empowering yourself and being proactive, okay? Um, celebration, yeah. You see, this is what it's going to lead to, this celebration, because you've already got the ideas, and I feel like even with this experiencing, right, you know it can work. You know it can. It's just a matter of putting it into action and realizing that you've kind of you've kind of come a few steps anyhow. And so really to celebrate that, okay? Um and give yourself some credit here. Yeah. Because you can still do that. That's not all ego, you know. Yeah. Giving yourself some credit and stop fighting this um, urge to move forward, okay? Not listening to this inner critic and um, and taking off this armour that you have around you for protection and actually, because this, this, this knight is ready to go into battle, but he hasn't even got his horse with him. Um, and I feel as though... This armor here that you have used to protect you before, which very well could be the ego, is actually has become this big burden on you and it's not helping you anymore. Okay, so um, let down those defenses, trust in yourself, get a group of people around you that you trust to help you go forward. Call on Lord Malin, Archangel Michael, and proceed. As you were, Aries. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is the time, Aries, and, and very exciting for you. So yeah, good luck, Aries. Okay, take care of yourselves. See you. Bye.